Good morning, guys. So I decided that today I'm going to go through my tea cupboard and resort everything. I've got some new canisters and I need to sort out my loose leaf tea. <laughs> so I'll bring you guys along while I do that this morning. So for Easter, my mom, I asked my mom to get me these tea canisters from T2. Um, I've got a white one and I've got a pastel purple one. But I wanted some more and these ones looked really cool. They've also got like a metallic <clears throat> teal and I think there's a gold one at the moment as well. But I like to add the purple to the other purple that I have as well. So welcome to my kitchen. Um, this is where my tea cupboard is. So as you can sort of see there's a lot going on there right now. Um, and these are my new containers I've got from T2. I've got three of them. And I washed them out last night and left them to dry so I could put my loose leaf in there this morning. So... Oh! <laughs> We've got a lot to get through. So maybe I just start pulling down all of the... everything really that's in the front and um, sort it into piles. I don't remember what's in some of them actually. Because some of them, like this one, are just containers that I've kept to put like tea bag ones that I've collected. Or like, you know when you have a box and it's like the last tea bag and you don't really want to keep your box. That's what I do. This is the box that all the misc tea bags sort of go into. Um, this one is a loose leaf, which I may put in one of those. Some sachets, some more tea stuff, and then I've got my matcha. I've got two matchas, so I've got the mint chocolate chip one and the berry one. can see but I've already got one um T2 container that I have filled up. I should really put a paper or something on it. I wish you could actually smell this but it's a green tea with fruits and blue and pinky yellow flowers. Um, I think it's called green rose from T2. Green tea, but like fruity and floral. So that's the only one that I put into one of these containers. Um, and then I got another container a very long time ago. That's up there in that corner. And also I wanted to put this into one, but it has the ingredients on it. So mm. I don't know, maybe I'll leave it in there for now because it's supposed to be in there. And then I've got my tea total. I've got like pretty much every tea brand you can think of. Like T2 is the main one as you can tell and buying all the canisters for my loose leaves. But then there's Majestic Tea Bar and there's Tea Total. They do really good like um, Earl Grey variations. Even though this is an English breakfast one, they do really good classic tea variations. So in that far corner is like all my classic ones, my old grey, my English breakfast, my chamomiles in the very like pink one, the very back there. Um, and then on this side is more like the hot chocolate stuff, the chai, and then in the middle is like my green teas. Um, and then on the very end at the front is like all my herbal slash healing ones. Like I've got this digest one immunity one, like just like health ones I guess you could say, um, but I'm running out of space. Um, how do I feel about this? I 
started using jars. <laughs> you can see the back ones. Because I bought this really... I don't remember how big it was, but it was big. <laughs> and the tea was really compact because I really love jasmine tea. So I bought this big bag from a Japanese supermarket. And I wanted to put it into canisters, but I didn't have anything. So I used like an ice cream container and an old jam jar. That worked well for me. Um, hmm. Well, I do want to put this one in a container. Maybe I just tip it into one and then just write like the fruits and stuff so I know which and where it's from so I know if I want to refill it. And... So that's what I did with the spices. I wrote like chili flakes <laughs> so we could fill up, fill them up but that we'd know what they were. So I feel like there's nothing worse than just like trying to figure out what something is and putting it into food or like tea and drinking it and not liking it or it just being a random time. I'd much rather know what the things are, honestly. Um, hmm. I could also put tea bags in them though. Hmm. How do I want to do this? Because these are already, like, these are unopened. Like, I feel like, and they're sealed as well. So I would probably keep them in there. Even though it looks nicer to be in tins. Maybe I put some tea bags in there too though. Okay. Well, how much? Not much. Yeah, I think I'm gonna use one of these for like EBT. Don't know how no you can't really see my bench, I'll just tilt it down so you can see. <laughs> That's all of the tea that I pulled out of the cupboard so far. So far. There's still all that there. Um but now I'm just trying to take all of these ones and put them into one of the canisters. This is a very big cardboard box. I'd rather not have that sitting in there taking up space. Hmm. I've been trying to think about what else I can film for my YouTube videos. And I think I'm just going to do a lot of like daily stuff but with events events so like the go shopping or go to meet somebody or something like that okay so that's my english breakfast tea and one of them now wait okay you can smell it and you know it's that one that's okay it's most of the loose leaves that i think are a bit dangerous <laughs> Alright, so that's one container gone. Um, I would do my peppermint tea as well, but there's only one tea bag left, so it's kind of pointless. I may as well just drink that now. <laughs> um, that would probably make things a lot easier. Yeah, I'll just leave it for there. We can drink that. Hmm. I feel like the... the herbal wellness teas need to be separate like I think I'm gonna leave it in here I think what I'm gonna do is put my loose leaf green and fruits in the, in the canisters and then some of the classic tea bags in there as well which means I probably am gonna need to buy some more canisters at some point but this was the first one that I ever bought back when I first started getting into tea because the green rose one was the first tea that I actually ever bought and then I bought the white canister and then like I explained um, I just recently bought the metallic ones because I kind of wanted to keep them all the same like purple, white, you know, pretty I wouldn't be opposed to silver if there was some silver, but I kind of want to keep them all like the same color palette. I also don't want to open teas I haven't opened just to put them in a container because I feel like that's not the point of this. <laughs> the point of this is to, to condense the teas that I've already opened. Hmm. I really want to take that one out though. 
Okay. Move my glasses out of the way. Hey. Also, I think it's smaller. No, it's not. It's the same. It's the same height. But I also don't think I've ever washed this. I think that's what I was gonna do. I think I bought this for the jasmine tea, but then I realized it was already in the two containers, and I didn't really want to. Because I think there's actually too much to go in here. I think that's what the problem was. Yeah. Okay. And then that can go there for another green teas. This one? This one. Okay. Put the glasses back where they live. English breakfast. More English breakfast. Ah, that's right. I typically try to use one kind of tea before buying more, if that makes sense. So that English breakfast tea in the packets I actually got given, and then I actually got given a loose leaf as well, so I'm going to use the tea bag before I open this one, if that makes sense. It's just logical to me to use the one type of tea before opening another type of the same tea. Obviously I don't drink the same tea every day, I switch between the different ones, but the point is, is I only have like one open of each kind at a time, so I'm not like wasting it. Um, yeah, so this one's gonna go back down the side, I'm just holding that. Nothing in here should be sticky, so that's a bit weird, but anyway, those are going there. Already, you can see there's a lot more space. Um, hmm, I think I'll just put my fruit tea one back in there. And then this one I've got to put in the container. And then I've got my charity tea. It's really nice. It's like a peach, it's peach something. Yeah, just peach. Honey bush, outer flowers, and peach. South African tea. Very nice. I got this from a it was like a, a charity store that I was giving donations to and they had this tea, these types of teas. Um, it was like 10 different teas. Um, and apparently it's a charity brand. Yeah, where you can order tea to sell at your business, which is pretty cool. Um, I haven't looked into them too much, but I do wanna look into them. Yeah, feed a hungry child with every purchase. Pretty good. Um, I don't know, does that, that doesn't really go with the classics, it's more of a fruit tea, but then I've got that other one to put there, I don't know, nothing just sits there. Um, and then I've got my sachets that I kind of need to use. My sleep tight and my anti-stress, I never know what to do. My family keep buying me these like health teas because my health is like absolutely terrible but I have to be very careful with what I have because some of the ingredients in some teas I haven't encountered any yet but I know that there's some ingredients in some teas that you can't have with medication like I think there's one called St John's Wort it's like a handful of them that um, conflict with medications, but there isn't any in these, which is good. This one's just lemon myrtle and manuka. It was pretty good. Rest and digest. Looks very like, it looks like hay. <laughs> some of them look funny, some of them look okay. This one's a green tea in echinacea from Red Seal, like you know, supermarket brand, and then the health reasons from like a bag. Chamomile with lemon and manuka honey. I'm interested to try this because I drink them separately. I drink chamomile and then I drink lemon honey. So this will be interesting, both of them together. I would expect that they would 
do the same thing that they do separately but together like calming but also like support your sinuses that's kind of what the lemon honey one does so interesting hmm. okay well i'll put these back in here and that one I mean, I hope that looks a bit different. It looks a bit tidier so far. So far. I mean, to be fair, I have taken out two very large cardboard containers from in there, so. She's cutting down. But then again, I've got, still got three canisters to fit in there, and that's gonna stack it up. So obviously, eventually, the goal is to be in all, be mostly all in these canisters. So then there's not as much packaging in there. Mm. Okay, so I'm gonna check this into here now. Mm. It's always had a very unique smell. This one's from Zipper. Um, I got... Actually, this was my first tea that I bought. Yes, and then I bought the Green Rose one from T2 and the canister. This was the first one that I bought. I bought it at a, um, what do you call them? Like a food show. It's like a big convention and they have like all different food and drink companies there showcasing their new products and stuff and you just go and try them and then you can buy their products. Um, so that's what I did. I went on a school trip um, when I was 17. It was so much fun skip school for the day and go shopping for food <laughs> but I spent way too much money as you can imagine um and I found this store Zipar and that's where I got my double glass insulated um tea flask I guess you call it um and it's got a bamboo silicon lid as well so I got that. I pretty much take it everywhere with me. You can use it for pretty much anything, even just for water. But it's got a filter as well. A loose leaf filter. That screws and unscrews. Um, I'll show you quickly. This comes apart. Real easy. Um, usually when I do lemon honey and just water, I obviously just take it out. But if I want to do and tea bags. But if I want to do loose leaf, then I can just chuck that in. Uh, yeah, and that's where I bought the inner tea, which is what this one's called. It's papaya, ginseng, ginkgo, outer flowers, marigold petals, sweet blackberry leaves. Energize and revitalize your mind and body to restart the day. This is actually very good. Um, it's probably my favorite fruit tea, actually. It's very, like, punchy. Yeah. And you can smell the blackberry, definitely. <laughs> and there that comes out quite strong. And it's like a red tea. That's always one of my favourite things about loose leaves, is when you pour them for the first time, and you get to see what colour they come out. It's also really nice um, in the summer. I would get like a tray of ice cubes and stick it in like a jug. And then put loose leaf in like a what are they called a loose leaf like kind of thing and then i pour boiling water over it because most of the teas that i have can only be activated by hot water but i'd want them iced so i'd pour it over pour the hot water over the tea and then it would go onto the ice and make it iced tea <laughs> it's a, a lot of effort but um yeah most of the teas that i have they can only be brewed hot but in saying that i do have some down in the very far corner that are like activated with normal temperature water, which is pretty cool. Um, maybe one day I'll take those out, but they're in the very, very far back and I can't reach. <laughs> so that's okay. This is hopefully not going to be messy. literally almost nothing left <laughs> now I'm gonna try and show you 
that you can literally barely see. Oh, you can kind of see the fruit granules in there. That's okay. Okay, so I've got to write on this because I am pretty sure I'm not going to remember what that is in there. I'll probably know, but not know what's in it. Okay. Alright, I got a little square of purple paper and I'm just going to translate what's on here. Kind of basic, but at least I remember what it is. <laughs> I think um, I'm gonna put it. Hopefully, that stays put. I'm probably gonna be so confused when I go to read it later. And then I've got two kind of scissors left, and a lot of random tea. Okay, so what do I have in here? This one's just like. I guess a plain black tea, green tea, sencha, English breakfast, and a lemon and lime. No, I don't know if I can fit all of them. Oh, I might be able to. I'll try. These are the kinds of teas, like these ones, the normal black ones. Like all of these packet ones, those are the kind of teas that I bring to work and leave at work so I can drink them when I'm there. Obviously, when I do go to work, I bring my flask with me with tea already in it, but for a refiller, I bring these as well. Okay, well, that will contain now. That's good. Uh, now, where do I put them though? Because I've got to put. I've almost finished this one, which is good. Um my straws back, hot chocolate's kind of just going to go back there to be used, the hot chocolate section, well, all the milky drinks anyway, these ones, then I still got two containers left, <laughs> um, I don't think that fits quite well, I think I'll just put that there, um, that's full. So I don't know where I'm gonna put this. Oh my god, it's already been half an hour <laughs> of me resorting my teacup in. Uh, I honestly don't know where I'm gonna put this. Because I'm trying to keep it like in order. Sections. <laughs> okay. I think what I'm gonna do is put this one underneath this one. a lot neater and nicer than when I started which is great all right well thank you for watching my tea sorting video um please it means a lot to me if you like and comment especially if you want to see other sorts of videos or videos like this yeah have a nice day